today we are going to look at small changes so the formula here is delta y is equals to dy over dx delta x which means the change in y is equals to a differentiation of y in respect of x then change in x let's see this example if y is equals to x squared plus 2x find approximate increase in y when x increases from 9 to 9 comma 0 1 so the first step here is to differentiate the expression here this means this becomes 2x plus 2 after differentiation therefore we need to find the change in x so the change in x is equals to 9 comma 0 1 minus 9 which means this is equals to 0 comma 0 1 so we use this formula to calculate the change in y therefore we are applying the differentiation here times the change so 2x plus 2 times 0 comma 0 1 note that the initial value of x was 9 so on x we replace with 9 therefore 2 times 9 plus 2 times 0 comma 0 1 is 20 times 0 comma 0 1 which means this is 0 comma 2 so the change in y was 0 comma 2 then the second example finally the percentage increase in the volume of a cube when wages of a cube are increased by 2% so here we are not given the initial value we use initial value as 1 so here the volume of a cube is the side a times side times side which means it's length to the power 3 therefore we are going to take our initial value as 1 or 100% then we differentiate this one so this we uh, dv over dl becomes 3l squared and our change in v is determined by the formula dv over dl times change in l so change in l was 2% which is 0 0,02 in decimals therefore we are going to apply uh, uh, the differentiation in value 3 l squared times 0 0,02 which is 2 percent so we said that we take l the initial value is 1 or 100 percent so 3 times 1 squared becomes 3 times 0 0,02 this will be 0 0,06 which is 6 percent when converted to percentage so the change in volume is 6 percent then here are a few things to do find an approximate value for the increase in the volume of a sphere when radius increases from 10 cm to 10,1 cm number 2 if y is equal to 5x to power 4 and x is increased by 2% of its original value find corresponding percentage increase in y this marks the end of all